In this video, we're going to be talking about management of breast cancer in pregnancy. So we're going to tackle the problem in both ways. We'll first talk about the options and then we'll talk about the trimesters. So let's talk about the options. Option one, uh, radiotherapy. So can radiotherapy be given in pregnancy? No. First trimester, no. Second trimester, no. Third trimester, no. So that's the end of radiation therapy for pregnancy. You just can't give it. What about HER2 receptor positive treatment, trastuzumab? Or what about hormonal therapy, ER, PR positive? Can you give it? No. Uh, first trimester, no. Second trimester, no. Third trimester, no. You can give it postpartum. So trastuzumab or uh, also known as Herceptin or Tamoxifen, you cannot give it during pregnancy. It can be given postpartum. So that's the end of that story. Now, what about chemotherapy? Chemotherapy, can you give it during pregnancy? The answer is yes. You can give it during the second trimester onwards you cannot give it for the first trimester that's because of the high birth risks that can be associated with chemotherapy so if someone asks which chemotherapy you will be giving the answer would be anthracyclines because of the lowest uh, um, birth uh, defects uh, compared to the other options for breast cancer so chemotherapy okay from second trimester onwards hormonal therapy her2 receptor therapy and radiation only postpartum cannot give it uh, in uh, pregnancy. Let's talk about uh, axillary treatment. Can you do sentinel lymph node biopsy? Yes, you can do it at any trimester as you like. Just uh, use uh, the uh, radioactive dye. Do not uh, treat it with methylene blue uh, or isosulfan blue dyes. So that would be for the axillary sentinel uh, uh, node. Uh, okay, let's talk about um, mastectomy or breast conservation therapy. Uh, can you do it technically? Technically, yes, you can. But uh, the problem with the uh, lumpectomy would be that lumpectomy requires radiation therapy. So remember, if you have a patient in first trimester, you can technically say you can do lumpectomy, but the answer is wrong because lumpectomy requires uh, adjuvant radiation therapy. So in, in first trimester, you cannot uh, talk about um, lumpectomy. You would have to do a mastectomy. Now let's talk about the management of breast cancer in terms of the trimesters. So first trimester, uh, you would be doing um, mastectomy. You would be doing sentinel uh, lymph node. You can do uh, the dissection or you can do the biopsy, whatever the patient requires. And then you would be uh, starting chemotherapy in uh, trimester two for this patient. You cannot do a lumpectomy for this patient because you cannot wait for the end of pregnancy to start radiation therapy. And then also remember that you should discuss termination of pregnancy for um, first trimester. And if the patient agrees, then you can proceed with the regular management uh, of uh, breast cancer. Now let's about, talk about uh, trimester second. For second trimester, you can do a lumpectomy. Patient can wait at the end of the third trimester to get radiation. So that's that. Axillary treatment remains the same. You can do your nodal dissection, you can uh, do the biopsy, and then you can start the patient on post-operative chemotherapy if the patient needs. Uh, let's talk about uh, third uh, trimester. Third trimester would be uh, like treating a non-pregnant patient. So you can do a lumpectomy, wait for uh, the uh, 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 pregnancy to be done with and then uh, give radiation therapy then axillary staging remains the same uh, chemotherapy options remain the same so that is the third trimester now let me discuss another uh, question with you so for example if this is a patient who has breast cancer and palpable lymphadenopathy let's say clinically patient has axillary nodal involvement 
how are you going to pay, manage this patient? Well, let's talk about a non-pregnant patient. So in a non-pregnant patient, either you would say, I'm going to do a mastectomy or lumpectomy, depending on whatever <clears throat> you can do. And for the axillary uh, disease, since the patient already has nodal disease, you are going to do axillary dissection. And that is the correct answer. Well, there is another option. The other option is that you can give the patient new adjuvant uh, chemotherapy, reduce the stage of this patient, restage the patient, and then proceed with uh, surgery, which may be lumpectomy or uh, mastectomy as the patient needs. And then uh, either you can, if the axilla is now negative, um, you can do a sentinel or you can just do the dissection again. So if the patient already has nodal disease to begin with, you still have two options. One is surgery first or the other option is new adjuvant chemotherapy and then we address the staging of the patient. Now why am I discussing this is because if the patient is in second trimester or the third trimester, you can do the strategy of new adjuvant chemotherapy and proceed because uh, you can do uh, chemotherapy during second and uh, the third uh, trimester. But if you were to choose this option of new adjuvant chemotherapy in a patient who is in the first trimester, then that's wrong. That's not going to be the correct answer. So that's why I brought it up. The other reason why I brought it up is that if you're talking about inflammatory breast cancer treatment, the inflammatory breast cancer treatment starts with new adjuvant chemotherapy. So if this is a patient um, who is in second and uh, third uh, trimester, the neoadjuvant chemotherapy is uh, an acceptable option uh, and then proceed with the other options. And again, radiation therapy is only given postpartum. And remember, the HER2 new receptor therapy and the hormonal therapy is also given uh, postoperatively. So I hope I have covered the treatment options from both ends. Thank you.